know, iron is a super useful material that is used in tons of stuff. This video is about how we get iron from rocks into the iron that we use in many applications in the world around us. Okay, so we said the point was is to convert iron ore into iron. Iron ore is also known as hematite, which is the rock that contains enough iron to make it worth extracting. Heme, you might have seen as a prefix before, it means iron containing, just the same as in hemoglobin, which is the iron that's contained in your red blood cells. Here's a diagram of the blast furnace for you. There are three raw materials for your blast furnace, sometimes called the charge that they put into the top. Um, hematite, which is your iron ore, the rock that contains iron. Coke, which is just impure carbon or charcoal. And some limestone as well, calcium carbonate. All of these will be explained a little bit later. The furnace is really, really hot, 2,000 degrees at the bottom to 1,000 degrees at the top, so it's a really, really warm place. Now what you might be thinking is that the iron ore, which contains iron oxide, which is Fe2O3, can react with the carbon because carbon is more reactive than it on the reactivity series. That should make iron and carbon dioxide. Now sometimes this happens, but most of the time the carbon isn't a strong enough reducing agent. That means that it's not strong enough to pull the oxygen away from the iron. The iron has too tight of a grip on it. So the mission is, is that we need to make a stronger reducing agent first. Something that's stronger and able to pull that oxygen away from the iron. The way that we do this is the first thing that happens is in the heat, the carbon reacts with oxygen that comes in through the sides, this hot air vents here, to make carbon dioxide. What then happens is because it's super hot, the carbon dioxide can react with the rest of the carbon that's in the blast furnace. And this makes carbon monoxide, which is super dangerous, but is also a super strong reducing agent. Okay, so let's react the iron oxide now with my carbon monoxide. And that will reduce the iron oxide to pure iron and carbon dioxide. It balances like this. The pure iron comes off at the bottom of my blast furnace because it's really, really dense. That means it's really heavy for its size. So really dense, it comes off at the bottom there. Now we haven't used the limestone at all, which we put into the top of the blast furnace. Now the point in the limestone is to remove impurities, and the biggest impurity is sand. So because we put hematite in, hematite is rock that had some iron in it, but rock also is made of a lot of sand, so we need to get rid of that in the best way that we can. The first thing that happens is the limestone undergoes thermal decomposition. You've done this in another part of your unit. But calcium carbonate breaks down under high temperatures to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. That calcium oxide can then react with the silicon dioxide, which is sand, to make this calcium silicate, CaSiO3. Now it's kind of easy to remember what that product is because as long as you've got the first parts, it only makes one product. So you just need to put all of the atoms together um, and make sure everything is balanced. This is an example of a neutralization reaction because you've got a metal oxide, which is a base, reacting with a non-metal oxide, which are acidic. So it's an example of neutralization. Now if we go back to the charge, the things that we put in at the beginning, the raw materials, the hematite is the thing that contains the iron. The carbon is there to reduce the iron via carbon monoxide, and the limestone is there to remove impurities. Now these impurities come off as something called slag, so the calcium silicate is also called slag, and it comes off the blast furnace just above the iron because it's not as dense as the iron. The other part I haven't labelled is these two vents at the top, which is just where the waste gases are removed. Nothing more fancy than that. So apologies for the slightly longer video. That is the quickest that I can talk to you about the blast furnace in. Um, I hope it's been useful for you.